Welcome to video 188 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC Relations Master Script. Alright, make a new c -sharp script and call it Game Manager underscore NPC Relations Master. Okay, and I will also just load that up. Alright, no need for any of these methods, so let me just get rid of them. And I'll start with the first event. So public delegate void NPC relation change event handler takes in four parameters string faction affected. So I just wrote fact affected, comma string uh, fact causing, comma int adjustment. So that's the relationship adjustment, whether it becomes or well, goes up or down, and comma bool chain. This is whether the effect so if you if your allies are affected then should then your enemies who are say enemies of your ally should they be affected as well from that so there's a chain effect so your enemies could become your allies while your allies become your enemies that sort of thing public event npc relation change event handler and the event's name is event npc relation change I also have another event. So this one is public delegate void update NPC relations event handler and public event update NPC relations event handler. The event's name is event update NPC relations everywhere. So you can kind of imagine what that's for is that once, um, you know, like an NPC has been hurt or whatever, or a structure has been destroyed, then it would come back and contact uh, this, uh, well, the, the event would be called on this script, resulting in uh, basically the um, events, well, the NPC relations being updated everywhere. So first of all, it has to get processed, and then it will get updated everywhere, and all NPCs will receive the updates. All right, and uh, just two variables, public int hostile threshold is equal to 40. So I'm just going to take it that if it's below 40, that's an enemy. And now here it is, public NPC relations array, square brackets, NPC relations array. And so this one line here is actually something massive. And that was that data structure that we wrote in the last video. And we're going to fill it in shortly. Okay, so continuing a little bit more, public void, call event NPC relation change, pass in the parameters, string faction affected, comma string faction causing change, comma int relation change amount, comma bool apply chain effect. Now, if event NPC relation change is not equal to null, then call that event, so event NPC relation change, pass it in, faction affected, faction causing change, relation change amount, apply chain effect. And of course, I need a way to call this event here as well, this second one. So let me write that in. And this one is public void call event update NPC relations everywhere. If event update NPC relations everywhere is not equal to null, then event update NPC relations everywhere. Okay, so save that. And that is it. I'll go to the game manager and put this on. All right. So now here it is. This is the NPC relations array. There are four factions, so I'll put in a size of four. Now in each of these elements, I must fill in that information. You can see it now. Can you see it? See the NPC faction, NPC relations, tags, layers, just as we were writing in the uh, data structure script. So if I just open that up, that's what you are seeing there. So now we're actually seeing that inside of the inspector and we can go ahead and fill it in. All right, so now we don't need to uh, fill in the tags or the layers, but we do need to define who this first entry belongs to. So I'll say it's the player and do get it correctly, spell it correctly with the correct case. It must match the actual uh, tags. There must be no mistake. So going back, so for player, this, this entry belongs in the table. This row belongs to player. Now inside of this, I must say, what is player's relationship to each of the factions, the four factions? So therefore, 
Uh, first of all, the NPC tag. I'll start with the friendly, and I should just check the spelling. It is friendly. Okay, easy. So I'll just type that there, friendly. And the starting re relationship is 100, so they're an ally. Now, what about... Oh, actually, I should start with player, its own faction. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then I'll put in friendly down here. Okay, that's better. 100, good. Now the next one is enemy. So the uh, golems are enemy. Let me just remind myself of that. Look at the prefabs. Yep, the tag is enemy. And for max, evil max, it is evil max. So nice and easy. So here I'll type enemy. And I'll set that to 25. And for the final one, it's evil max. And I'll set that to 25 as well. So that is player set up. Now let's go to the next one. So the next one will be friendly. And just to make my life easy, I'll just set it in the same format. I can just copy paste each of these to make sure I don't make a mistake. And it's 100. And with friendlies, it's 100. So I think you get the idea here. But nevertheless, I'll keep going through with enemy. I'll set that to 25. It could be anything below 40, really. Um, evil max. And now all we're doing at the moment is just setting the data. It's not going to do anything. We've created this script, but we need to write another script in the next video that will actually do the processing work. All right, so now this one, NPC faction, is uh, oops, enemy. So let me just copy that over. That's the faction. It has four relations. Yep. And uh, just continuing on, player. This time it's 25, because this is an enemy with friendly as well. They don't like the friendlies, so I'm going to set it to 25. With its own self, uh, they're friends amongst their own factions, so 100. And then with evil max, they don't like evil max, so they're 25 as well. All right, the last one is uh, evil max, so let me fill that in as well. Four of those, since I've just got that uh, copy pasted, I'm just going to make use of it in the last entry, set it to 100, and uh, just fill out the others. So player, 25, friendly, 25 as well, and of course the uh, enemy, a 25 as well. Okay, so that's that. So the data is set. But nothing is going to happen, and uh, we need to, of course, make this something usable rather than just being a data table. At the moment, it is really, it's actually a table there of information, but it's not being used yet. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.